In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to create email lists within the email marketing platform, and then add a form to your website to start populating that with leads and contacts. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is from your account dashboard of your website, scroll down and click the email marketing tab to open up the email marketing platform. If you haven't yet added the email marketing platform to the site, you will need to do so before getting access to some of these tools. Uh, the first thing you're going to see is the email list tab, and that's where we want to be right now. To create the list, go ahead and click the add list button located here, and we're going to give it a name. We're going to call it new members. From name, we'll say it's coming from me, and the from email, we'll say uh, just a test email, and then click submit. Now I've created that list and this will be available when I go to create that form on the page, the new members list. Obviously there's no subscribers at this point. Uh, and that's why we're gonna add this form to add subscribers to it. Go ahead and close out the email marketing platform and let's jump into the website. Now from the editor, um, obviously you can place this on any page. I'm just gonna place a form here on the home page. So we'll click add, followed by contact form. And I'm gonna want the name email address, phone number. Uh, you can add, obviously, an array of information here uh, based on the form, uh, but I'm gonna keep it simple and uh, just ask for this information. Now, under the form settings tab, this is important. Um, this is the email that's gonna be sent to uh, when it's submitting the information by email. Uh, but for these purposes, what we're really trying to do is we're trying to create a mailing list. So uh, whether or not this stuff gets to me through email uh, is irrelevant really for my uses because I'm building this list in my email marketing platform to then manage in a more uh, efficient way using that platform. Um, confirmation page, I, I don't necessarily need a confirmation page at the moment, uh, but I do want to add to the mailing list. So scroll down here to the mailing list and choose whatever list you want to add to. We're going to choose new members. It's a new list I just created. And then we're going to click insert form. And just place this form anywhere, save the page, and we're done. Now, any uh, web developer that wants to make sure that their website is functioning properly, the first thing you're going to want to do when you add a form to the page is test it. Make sure that you understand what your site visitors are seeing. If you don't test this and, re and, and make sure that it's going to the right form, it has the right information, then when you get feedback, negative or positive from your clients, you won't necessarily know what part failed. So it's always important to make sure to test that thoroughly. So we'll view the site and we will test and we'll just test this from a test email account that I use. This other information is just kind of irrelevant. And then I will click submit. Now it's important to understand because I had this added to a mail, uh, a mailing list, in order to ensure that this information isn't bogus, and you're sending emails to, you know, bad emails or or invalid users, you're going to have something that's called captcha. This all this does is help to prevent bots or uh, spammers from filling up your email box, your your mailing list now, uh, and it's going to require some interaction. So in this case, you're just going to need to type this as your site visitors will, and then click Submit. And that's it. That submitted the form. Um, now, next thing you want to do is, well, let me, let, I don't want to get ahead of myself. The next thing we want to do is, we want to log into the email account and verify that email address is valid. So anytime you submit a form or somebody submits a form on your website, they're gonna be required to uh, confirm that they wanna be added to your mailing list. This again is helpful to prevent um, uh, emails from going out to invalid emails. It validates the email is correct and therefore you're gonna have a good sending reputation. You're gonna be able to send and receive into inboxes. Um, so from here, you just click the confirmation link and that's it. And it's been added to the mailing list of Steve. Um, go ahead and close that out. You can archive that. Let's go ahead and go back to the email marketing platform. From your account dashboard, click email marketing. And you can 
can see here under new members, I've got one subscriber. Click on the view icon and you can see that this is the information that was submitted. Um, it's active because I confirmed it's ready to be mailed to. Uh, and that's about it. I mean, it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, allows you to gather information and leads uh, from the people that visit your website. The next step, of course, would be to send an email using the email marketing platform, either a broadcast or set up an autoresponder so they get one as soon as they sign up. Uh, and that can also be done here by clicking the Compose and Scheduling tabs. And it's covered in other videos and help docs, so be sure to check those out as well. And as always, if you have any questions about the email marketing platform or web starts in general, be sure to let us know. Thank you.